Hi Capricorns, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I am looking at your love life. So taking a look at um, your love connection update. All right. So Capricorn placements, this is your reading. It is a general message. Take what resonates for you. Leave what does not. Um, if you are interested in individuals or singles messages, I do provide those on my Patreon. There will be a link for you in the comments section. And if you need a personal reading, something more specific for you, check out the details in the description box. All right. Capricorn, I am doing your energy versus your person's energy. So let's see your energy towards this person at this time that is on your mind. Whoever is on your mind, your energy towards them. Five of Cups. What is Capricorn's energy towards this person? Ace of Wands. Um, judgment and Ace of Pentacles. I feel like I'm getting two specific messages. Running out of ideas and losing hope. Um, Queen of Swords. With your energy towards this person. If you are trying to um, be aloof and detach emotionally from someone, it's not working, basically. And so I'm getting that this was something that you were doing in order to get this person's attention. But um, the Five of Pentacles is right underneath that. I'm getting the energy that what it's doing is making you feel more alone. Um, let's see what their energy is towards you so we can see what's going on. What is their energy towards you? I think y'all are regretting something with yeah, a ton of wands because it could have pushed this person away. They could feel like you're too much work here. Two of cups, their energy towards you. Like this relationship would be too difficult. Death, rebirth. Mm -hmm. Oof, all these cards just fell. Knight of cups, oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, get these cards up. But all of them just... I think this person, the cards falling out the way they did, that ten of wands, that death, they feel like dealing with you is too much to handle. This person wants a family. This person wants like to settle down. I don't think they'll ever stop loving you. But I do feel like this person is exhausted. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm almost picking up this person saying, I've played your game long enough, Capricorn. That type of thing. Um, and I feel like you guys are regretting something. Okay, so let's see what the Five of Cups is about. <sighs> the Devil. So you guys are regretting some 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 of your own behavior here, Capricorns. I know some of you will refute, refute this, but it's your energy and this is literally your energy towards this person. Some of you may have made a mistake thinking that this person only wanted you for one thing. I'm getting that's not what they wanted. This person wanted more from you. What's the devil? Yeah, I feel like you guys made a mistake of you misjudged this person. And I and I even feel like that's what you feel bad about in the five of cups. The devil and the emperor feels like you guys actually kind of like became the thing you didn't want to deal with in a relationship. Someone who became calculating and controlling and, you know, really trying to like micromanage a situation. This person couldn't just like be free to like, like you and care for you and do stuff for you be, without you thinking that there was some sort of ulterior motive. And so I feel like that's what you guys are, are feeling like you, you, um, you made a mistake about. You thought this person was someone that they weren't. You misjudged them. And that's why I feel like judgment is here with the Ace of Pentacles because it almost feels like you guys are like, can I have another chance? And that feels like you wanting that with this person. The Ace of Wands feels like your energy towards them is hoping for a new beginning, um, feeling like you and this person have always been able to get a new beginning with one another. Um, I'm not going to keep this, but I saw Knight of Pentacles Justice. What's the Ace of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are mad at yourselves for pushing this person away or for like 
putting them through a lot because I feel like with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, you actually want to put in work now to prove to them that you um, really did like them or you really did want them and you didn't mean to like hurt them or make them feel like you didn't want them or something like that. Some of you may feel like this is reverse and that's fine, but this is showing up very strongly in your energy. Yep, Knight of Pentacles and all these Pentacles, this is you. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Some of you are wanting to extend the olive branch to this person. Um, you may see them walking away from you and you're like, I got to get to them before they, you know, move on or before they deal with somebody else. And this reading will probably mainly resonates for those Capricorns who are um, willing to accurately review their situation with someone um, special to them and go, okay, maybe I did too much. <laughs> you know, if you feel like this isn't your situation, then this may not be your reading. So I just feel like there's a lot of you who feel like you may have pushed someone away and you want to try again. I feel like you guys are apologetic with this. You want another chance? Um, what's judgment? Yes, you want another chance. The will of fortune. And you're hoping they give you another chance. And some of you feel like you ruined all your chances with this person. It's kind of giving, I don't know if they're going to trust me again. If they're going to like, let me um, try again, right? You you could feel like you, you ruined some things here. The tower with the will of fortune. That's like bad luck. It just is what it is. Some of you could feel like you have bad luck in love or you just have bad luck with this relationship. And I feel like a part of that is because you guys were this, trying to control um, and micromanage a situation that needed to naturally sort of just do what it needed to do. I feel like you guys were maybe playing too many games. And what I mean by that is not that you were like, taking this person for a joke, but maybe too much, you know, okay, I'm going to let them call me and then I'm not going to answer. Okay. I'm going to let them ask me out and then I'm not going to go like stuff like that. And it feels like now you're starting to see like, maybe it pushed away a really solid person. Scorpio's here, Aries, Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles, your energy towards them undoubtedly is wanting another chance. The aces here are like, hoping for a new opportunity so that you can do this again or the right way, basically. Ace of Pentacles. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles here for Capricorn's energy towards this person, the Ten of Swords? And then again, guys, it's repeating, you know, that message of, I want another chance, but it may be too late. I want to try again, but they may be done. Sick of me. King of Swords. Some of you are self-aware here, very self-aware, and you're accepting accountability here. Um, what's the Ten of Swords? The Queen of Pentacles, that is your energy. Look at this. So for those of you who are like, this isn't my reading, this isn't my situation, it's the Queen of Pentacles that's being ended, you know, that's being walked away from. That's like, and I think a lot of you, um, that's something else coming through in your reading where you're looking at yourself. Yes, the page of swords where you're evaluating your own behaviors and actions and going, did I really have to do all of that? <laughs> you know, because I feel like you have a solid person here. They're showing up as a knight of cups, even if they're tired or hurt and feeling like they were played with. This person has just had enough emotionally. And as much as they may want to give you another chance or stick around, they could feel like at what cost? What's a ton of wands here for this person's energy towards you? They feel like you did too much, Capricorn. The magician, way too much. Because they may even be looking at you as manipulative in this energy. Like they're tired of being like manipulated. They're tired of being like getting their hopes up when it comes to you and then you letting them down in some way. Again, going back to, I'm going to let this person ask me out a few times. And every time, you know, you're, you're doing what you got to do to protect yourself. But every time this person is doing something that they think is going to lead somewhere with you and they're getting shot down or they're getting rejected at some point is taking a toll on on their energy towards you and it's like you know what <laughs> maybe i need to just leave capricorn alone okay what's this uh, magician 
Six of Pentacles. This is someone who would receive and accept your apology, though, for sure. I feel like this is somebody, again, they're a sweetheart. That's it. That's just at least what's coming through, you know. Um, I feel like they would accept, you know, some sort of offering from you for sure. They absolutely would. But I'm also getting, because these are clarifying that ton of wands, where they may just be looking at it as I'm kind of done, you know, accepting your offers and apologies and, and things. This person may be accepting that the situation is just isn't going to go anywhere with the five of pentacles. They're going to always be left out in the cold by you. They're never going to get what they want out of this. And it feels like what they wanted or want for some of them, they could still want this a relationship, two of cups. They thought y'all had something. They really thought you guys had something beautiful or could. Yep. And now they're like cold towards that. Queen of Swords. They done put their heart away. Uh, that cup of love is in a cage. I feel like this person really did want a relationship with you, but they may feel toyed with. And so in that Queen of Swords energy for what they're feeling towards you, they're like, I see right through you, Capricorn. It's interesting how this is playing out. Again, some of you may feel like this is reverse, but this person feels like you have been playing games with them. And even if that's just like you guys protecting your heart and doing what you have to do, this person sees it as unnecessary because they actually feel like they've um, made it clear to you they could be trusted. What's the Queen of Swords? You have a Libra here, Page of Cups. I don't feel like they're against communicating to you. They actually could want to talk. Um, but I feel like they're not going to say much. There's going to be a lot of listening from this person because their energy towards you with the nine of wands is that they got to be careful. And Libra is here. And you know what I'm thinking about right now? Jenny May and Jeezy, they're getting a divorce. He's a Libra. She's a Capricorn. And so this is, and they're like, she wants to reconcile and work it out. And he's kind of like, no, and that's what I'm feeling here, right? And so a lot of you may be going through something like that where you're now, because you guys are typically seen as the person who's like, uh-uh, we're cutting out the foolishness, you know, but there's been some foolishness here played by Capricorns. And there's a person who's tired of that. And they're feeling like they need to protect themselves against you, Nine of Wands here. This is as straightforward as it comes. This person is tired. Death, rebirth. They felt like things needed to change. And it just wasn't happening. Temperance. This isn't someone who hates you. This isn't someone who is bitter towards you. This is just someone who feels like they've, they've, they've been through enough with you. And now it's time for them to like work on a healing process, please. Four of Swords. When I say your reading is super clear, guys, okay? <sighs> What's the temperance? Um, I think Knight of Wands. Some of you even have this person kind of like thinking, maybe I should have just kept it physical with Capricorn. And maybe I should have just looked at them as somebody to be physical with. Because when I was taking them seriously, they were playing me and running circles around them. That's what they feel. Like you were running circles around them. And they kind of just got tired. Of, of that. Knight of Cups. I feel like this is someone who would take you back. They need time though. They need time. Their energy towards you is still romantic. I mean, with the death coming before it, they're kind of like easing up on that romance. Yeah, they're easing up on that romantic side for sure. But it's still there a little bit. Three of Swords. When I tell you this is one of the most clear readings I ever had, this person is coming through as being very fed up. They care. But I don't think they're trying to do another cycle with you at this time. What's the world... They need time, a lot of time, hangman. For some of you, this person may not be ready to receive you. Again, um, the fool here, I mean, yeah, the fool here, um, Aquarius, Pisces season. Because something about what's been going on between you guys feels like this person has been the one being put through the ringer. And you guys at first maybe thought it was I don't want to say amusing, but 
you didn't think it was that big of a deal. It was that big of a deal to this person because they're like suspending offers and action towards you because of what happened between you. And I'm getting the energy that they still have a soft spot for you in their heart, but they're, they're kind of having a self-talk the same way you are going. I don't know if I could keep doing this with Capricorn as much as I like them. Okay. So Capricorns, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if that resonated for you. And if you're interested in a personal meeting with me, check out the details in the description box.